Good morning here. It's Valerie Milano, the editor of the Hollywood Times. And I'm here in Phoenix right now, but otherwise I'd be there in Hollywood. Um, and I want to welcome our guest and I'll have him introduce himself. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hi, I'm John Rob Saunders. I wrote and directed a feature called All the Weekend's Drama, and I am in Los Angeles. So Yay. All right. So we'll be talking about that for a short time here and dances with films a little bit where the where the film's going to be shown. And um, thank you again for joining us. And it's a dynamic movie. Um, um, is it your belief that the lack of parents or unfit parents lead mm -hmm. children down a path similar to the char characters in this film? Yeah, well, I certainly think it, it's a very contributing factor to that. I, it's not a foregone conclusion that that would happen. Um, there's certainly been many people who maybe haven't had the best, ooh, dropping stuff on my desk, uh, haven't had the best parental influences in their life and maybe still turned out great. And But I do think more often than not, you see you see a through line between lack of adult guidance um, of some sort and uh, difficulties, you know, in, in, in growing up. And, you know, obviously that's, that's compounded with other things like living in poverty, but uh, definitely, I think, I think uh, parents or adult role models give a foundation that isn't really replaceable in, in a lot of other ways. Yeah, I agree. Um, the youth of this film seem to be varying degrees of brokenhearted. Um, mm -hmm. What advice would you give to young people? I mean, you're young yourself, but mm -hmm. young people feeling these levels of grief. Wow, that's what, I what advice would I get? I, I, you have to do your best. I think to surround yourself with people who truly care about you, which when you're young is probably the hardest thing to ever do. It's it's incredibly hard to n really understand the people that you spend time around and the type of impact they have on your life. Um, especially if you're grieving and going through something traumatic the last thing you ever, I would say, want to do is try to to bottle that. Um, and but if you don't have the proper outlets, like in the movie, the main character Chloe kind of spends the first half of the film not around, not surrounding herself with the right people who truly care about her or care about the trauma that she's burying in herself. And it's not till later in the film where she finds the people who do care about that and that's when she seems and sees seems to have improvement in her life so I, I, for a young person that's that's what you would, would want to do but it's so difficult when you're young to understand that and understand because you might just be hanging out with people because you think they're cool or you think you're they have the same interests as you but those interests would not be good for you or you know beneficial to to your growth i guess yeah yeah, agreed. The characters reference where they're from, their neighborhood, often. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the location for Weekend's drama? Well, we shot in Los Angeles. Um, given our budget, we had to kind of shoot in various neighborhoods and sort of create, uh, you know, like and pretend it was one neighborhood, I suppose. But in terms of the actual concept of the film... I, I don't think I never got super specific with like oh, okay. yeah. is like a look. I wanted it to obviously like I wasn't hiding the fact that it was Los Angeles, but I I don't know if I was ever like, oh, yeah, I want this particular neighborhood because I kind of wanted it for someone watching it to just be able to associate that with where they grew up. So I didn't want to get too heavy specific. Um, but a lot of it was shot in like like South Echo Park, Westlake area, which is like just outside of downtown, like just to just right outside of downtown. Um, and that that was definitely like, I guess the the neighborhood that they lived in, I suppose, on a on a 
actual level. But yeah, I don't I didn't want to get super specific. I wanted it to be Los Angeles, but I didn't want it to be so specific. Right. Gotcha. Um see, why does Frenchie care so deeply for Benny? Can you talk more about their dynamic? I mean, I loved their caring chemistry. Right. Yeah. I I wanted to use Benny as kind of an indication of Chloe's natural kind of nurturing instincts that she sort of just has. Um, so it, it worked on one level as that, but I think she really, she has sort of the, throughout the film, she kind of has this, she doesn't kind of express it too much, but she sort of has an understanding of that. Her, she doesn't think the way that she lives is a very good way in the, in the first part of the film. And Benny is someone that she saw from like birth. And she just doesn't want him to run into the same issues that she believes that she's currently facing. So she knows that he's a young, impressionable kid who has a lot of potential to fit, to maybe get out of their situation. And she maybe sees herself in him a little bit. And she just doesn't want him to end up in, in the same position that she feels like she's ended up in. Um, which, uh, you know, is like a really sweet touch. I think they have, they do have this really lovely, you know, I, I wanted it to be that. I never wanted it to feel like there was like a rift between that. I just wanted it to be so pure and, and sweet between the two of them. And, and hopefully that, that translated like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the actors, did you know them before? Or was there a casting call? How did that work? Some of them. I, I knew... Lakin, who plays Chloe, and I, I knew Cormier, who, who plays Benny. We we actually went to high school together, oddly oh, enough. Really? I, didn't, I didn't really know either of them in high school, but we sort of kind of, Cormier and I had connected on some other projects, but Lakin, this was really the first time I ever got to know her. Um, everybody else, for the most part, was a cast and call, and, uh, you know, I did my best to try to find people who I thought, uh, you know, not only fit the characters, but sometimes, often when I cast, I'm also just looking for like, who are you as a person? And um, is everyone going to mesh well on set? And I think, uh, you know, at the end, by the end of this, we're all still friends and in contact. So it was kind of a, it was a, it was a beautiful kind of thing that happened between all of us. So love it. Yeah. It seemed that way. Well, as we wind down, talk to us about how we can find out more information on the film. Is there a website or social media and how we can find out more information on you and anything you might be working on in the future? Sure. Yeah. The, so we have this website. If you go to 957records.com um, and then there's like you can't miss it. There's a bit there's a bunch of different projects on there. But the first project you'll see all the weekends drama take you right to it. Um, there's a whole bunch of cool little information in there. I've been, I threw in a whole bunch of concept art and a whole bunch of little little interesting pieces about the film as well. So information about it's the film itself and the people who were in it. And then on Instagram, it's at all the weekends drama. So pretty simple there and cool. Some cool stuff there. Some cool content there. As for me, uh, I guess it's just my Instagram. Uh, uh, J-O-H-N-N-R-O-B-B -B. and usually if I'm working on something new which I am uh, you'll you'll see it there I guess but uh, yeah those are those are our outlets you know. beautiful and talk to us about when it's going to screen so it actually it, it screened um oh, it, it sque that's right because I was trying to get this written and get you on the no, interview before it screened that is right sorry about that mistake oh no, no no problem how but it did was, it go it went really really well I think every, it was really nice for my cast and crew I think that was a very validating moment to see that everything they had done in a venue like the Chinese theater and on such a big screen it was it was really that's great John um, well, you can find us on um, our YouTube, which is the Hollywood Times official, and our website, hollywoodtimes.net, our Instagram, the Hollywood.times, and the review will be there, this interview will be there, and I can't thank you enough for your time. Um, 
I look forward to hearing more about your future endeavors and creativity. So keep us all posted. Thank you so much for having me. Great. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.